Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Talk about a need for separation of church and state if, as liberals and lefties are constantly insisting, that the church should butt out of politics. Well, that gate swings both ways. In his much ballyhooed Cairo speech to an audience of Muslims, Obama did nothing more than commit a carload of theological blunders. He claims to be a Christian, yet continually quoted from the Holy Quran, his words, as though it was divine revelation. Note to Obama's speechwriter in charge of matters theological, there is no new revelation beyond Jesus Christ. Muhammad and his gang of marauding mercenaries arrived on the scene 600 years after Christ. Second point to the self-styled faithful Christian Obama, Islam and Christianity are not the same moral equivalency. First of all, Christianity was established by God himself. Islam was established by a man who murdered and raped. His fanciful tales about having received divine revelation are nothing more than that, fanciful tales. After having dictated the Quran over a period of years, he then went back and altered various parts of it. Islam rejects the Trinity. God revealed himself to be a trinity, and Jesus revealed himself to be God. Islam does not even come close to accepting these truths. In fact, the followers of Christ, according to a significant portion of Muslims and the Holy Quran, are to be forced to convert to Islam or killed. Which brings up the whole religion of peace canard. Politicians want to keep insisting that Islam is a peaceful religion, and any violence among its members is some weird, rare aberration. While there are many certainly uh, peaceful Muslims who deplore violence, it's a lie to continue denying that Islam does not contain a very strong element of violence. It simply does. It was through violence and mass murder that it made its converts in the seventh century. It began in violence and has never hesitated to resort to violence when necessary. To keep insisting that the religion as a whole rejects violence is dishonest and extremely misleading. So why do politicians like Obama and the whole left-wing crowd keep trying to paint Islam as peaceful? Because it will put Islam on the same moral footing as Christianity. This is the truth, simply put. Left-wing politicians and ideologues hate Christianity because they hate the moral codes imposed by Christianity, especially sexual morality. So in an effort to destroy Christianity, they will try and elevate anything or anyone to the same level to make Christianity seem like it has no special place. Who knows if all those campaign rumors about Obama secretly being Muslim are true or not, and it's really not important. What matters is that he's not committed to Christianity, theologically or morally, but he pretends to be so he can foist his subversive antichrist agenda of abortion and Planned Parenthood sexual counseling for children and homosexuality and state control on the country under the guise of a committed Christian. If he's truly a Christian, he needs to go back to school for history and theology. I'm Michael Voris.